Yeah, we've got our steam fan running today and it's running off syrup. As you can see there, it's running quite a bit. Um, around 100 gallons of uh, finished maple syrup an hour is what it's doing. This whole complete piece is uh, related to the steam fan. This is where the energy comes from the uh, steam generator, which we're going to see in a few minutes. There is so much water being evaporated out of this pan that we need a motor on um, a, a fan to pull the, to pull the uh, steam out of it. Around there's the fan, and it sucks the steam out and blows it out. Um, this here is a self-washing uh, steam pan. When I'm done boiling at the end of the day, I'll put it into the wash mode, and it'll circulate water through it with high-powered jets all night long and in the morning you got a nice clean pan. Uh, so we'll go out into the, the, the generator room and see where the power comes from. Okay, we're going to go inside the uh, steam generator room. This is where the power is uh, created for the power of the steam pan. It's pretty noisy in here so we'll just go through and take a quick look at it. quite safe. There's so many uh, shutdowns on it that uh, probably nothing can go wrong. It's probably more dangerous using your toaster to cook toast than it is to run this generator. Because it's really got a smart brain in it. Inside this is where the steam coil is. And that's where the uh, heat is created. It will come through the pipes and across into where the steam pan is. This here is the control panel. This will control the whole thing, the brain to the outfit. Uh, any dummy can use it, it's not a problem. That's why I can get along quite well with it. This is the inside of the steam pan. It uh, boils quite vigorous. You need to have the cold water keep it inside the pan. We use a sap oil. Uh, it's very good stuff. Uh, if you didn't use that, it would come right out these doors here and onto the ground. Um, safflower oil is, uh, doesn't leave any, um, flavor, off flavor on the syrup. And this machine around here, let's go around and take a look at it. will just allow you to put so much in at a time. Okay, this here is, a, is uh, designed just to uh, let the uh, right amount of uh, defomer into the pan at a time. This thing is a great thing. It's got a good brain in it and it never fails me. Uh, so you don't want to put too much defomer in your syrup or you could have issues. But this knows exactly how much to put in. Okay, you can see how the syrup is coming off of the shelf. There's this controller here that opens and shuts. Uh, when it's completely uh, finished or moving very quickly back and forth. It's got a real good brain in it. This is the control part for it. Uh, you can set as thick a syrup as you want. Uh, right now, this stays exactly when I set it. It stays exactly as thick as I want it. Uh, that's a lot of syrup coming off. Today we're only using this uh, steam pan, but uh, when it's really busy and we don't want to boil all night, we use uh, bolt machines. This one over here is all uh, wood pellet burning uh, evaporator. Uh, we're not using it today. We don't have a lot of sap to boil today. But the other days we were using both machines at once. Uh, taking a pile of syrup. Uh, things are really happening a lot. Um, this is a neat thing, but one machine breaks down, we can use the other one and still make syrup. We have to uh, boil longer, but anyway, with the two machines now, there's no all-night boiling, which is a good thing. 